People will judge you. People will judge you severely. I'll be very honest with you. People on the, in the online world are very harsh. Very harsh. But when they are in, your, in front of your face, they will never say what they said about you online. Like I got called kafir. I was called even munafiq for coming to this conference. I don't know why. Like I'm wearing a suit. Like look how cool I am. Allahu Akbar, subhanAllah. And if I'm wearing any, Allahu Akbar, you cannot be saved from people's tongues. You wear a suit, you please a group of people. Others are like, this is, you know, mubtadi', this is extreme, this guy. I wear a thobe, Allahu Akbar, you are upon the haqq. And the other ones are like, you're upon the bid'ah. You cannot please people, it's impossible. That's something for you to appreciate. Only seek Allah's judgment at the end of the day. Wallahi, you will never be able to please the people, no matter what you say. And inshallah, we'll go more towards it. This is an example of a man called Juha. It's like people, they use him as an example. So he was traveling with his son. So when they were traveling with his son, he was riding on the donkey and his son being the young man was walking by him. He passed by a village. So the people of the village said, look at this father who has, has no mercy towards his son. His son is walking while the father is sitting on the donkey. Then the father was affected by that. By people's judgment, he stepped off the donkey. He let his son ride and now the father is walking. They passed by the second village. They say, look at this disobedient son. He is sitting on the donkey while the father who raised him and took care of him is walking. A'udhu billah from such son. May Allah protect us and grant us one like him. So the father was like, get out, get down, get down, get down. So then the father and the son were sitting on the donkey. They passed by the third village. Like what is wrong with these people who have no mercy towards animals? This deen gives animals rights. And two sitting on one donkey, Al'udhu billah. So then what happened? The father told the son, let's both walk. So then the son is walking and the father is walking and there's no one riding on the donkey. So they pass by the fourth village. They say, what idiots. They have a donkey and they're traveling. No one is sitting on it. You will never be able to please people. Always have this in mind. That's generally speaking, but pay attention. One of my teachers said something remarkable. He says, Pleasing the people is impossible. And you should not overlook it. Even though it's impossible, but you should not completely overlook it. You try your best to unite people as long as you don't forsake Allah's judgment. Is it clear? That's something to truly appreciate.